I love Obama, he loves Donald Trump, and together we are going to make Nigeria great again. Oh. Your Excellency, I am not a hater. I am not a hater. My point being, please don't come for me. These are just my thoughts. Please don't come for me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adin Kadibari, a short movie, lifestyle content creator. Please subscribe to my channel. I do great things on here. Thank you. Your Excellency, Funke Akidele's directorial debut, Ebony Life Films. The movie features Funke Akindele, Akin Lewis, Alex Sekubo, Osas Igodaro, Tony Tones, One is in it, Files made a cameo, Evely Yosu made a cameo as well. You have Shafi Bello, you have Mike Afolari, you have Sheyi Law, Deemi Okon Lawon, you have Lala Akindoju. The movie tells the story of Olalekon Ajadi, a wealthy man who had been trying to become president of Nigeria for many years, for over eight years, I believe. His role model for the major part of the film was Donald Trump. His catchphrase was, make Nigeria great again. It was just this very larger than life character with a wife who loved and supported him. The movie is a comedy, some sort of satirical comedy we're making light of the country in which we live the environment and the choices of nigerians so to say this movie your excellency there is a particular audience for this film that audience isn't me because i didn't find it particularly funny it looked like a big mess that was packaged together. In as much as Ajadi's story was the plot A, you know, the major plot of the film, there were some subplots that just did not make sense. I mean, Alex Ekubo's character can still be explained, but his character in connection with Osas and the reality show, and then you had this old character of Tony Tones who was a vlogger, a blogger somewhere, just idling around. So it was a mixture of these political issues, and then we are having to deal with social media, and the role that social media plays in politics but then it's not really focusing on the role that social media plays but it's focusing on the lies that people tell on social media i was just like what is going on here forget akinele directing this film it was okay i hate comparisons right but unfortunately i have to do it take a look at how Ramsey Noah's directorial debut in Living in Bondage, the sequel, was just flat out amazing. With your excellency, it was just okay. Then there were some characters in the movie that I just did not understand why they were there in the first place. What the essence of such characters could be, such as Lala Akinoju's character. I don't even remember that character's name. Question, why is Ebony Light TV bent on typecasting Lala? Because I swear, if I see Lala play this kind of character one more time. If you have seen this film, Roya Hibiscus Hotel, Remember the last character? Sorry, sir. We are the Royal Hibiscus Hotel. Love to take care of our customers, sir. Yeah. Now, Your Excellency. Okay, let's assume that character was even essential. Why was that character dressed and costumed and built that way? Why, 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 why? It did absolutely nothing for the film. It didn't make it funnier, it didn't make it more interesting, it didn't make it more relatable. All it did was just make Lala look like a lesser actor than she is. Because we all know that she's a fantastic actor. Eki, Eko Edo's character who was supposed to be this sort of political analyst and, you know, the, the, the political heavyweight journalist that was interviewing presidential candidates, suddenly is talking about blogs and, and gossips. Why was Eki constantly watching Stephanie's vlogs? They never established that they knew each other. 
They never established that they were competitors. They never established any sort of relationship between both characters. So why was why was such a Dami Okonawa, on the other hand, just came into that movie to look good. All right, <laughs> he looked good, uh, uh. <laughs> and that was that. I'm not going to lie that I didn't have a few laughs here and there, a few giggles. But then again, it's kind of like scrolling through your Instagram page and seeing those one one minute Instagram comedian skits. And then in between pictures, you know, you're just like, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that was cute. That was it. This movie <laughs> gave Chief Daddy a run for its money. Why? What? What? I think when I reviewed Chief Daddy a year ago, which was another Ebony Life production, I said that if you don't watch it, you won't miss it. Go and watch Chief Daddy. And then I now pay 2500 again. They said it was a blockbuster. So it was more expensive. Kai! I'm sure some people will watch it and think, oh my gosh, that was so hilarious. That was... No. What do you guys think? As always, I know some of you have seen it. So what do you guys think? Let's talk down below in the comment section. Are you still going to go ahead and see it? See, I want to know. Leave your comments, your thoughts, your expectations, whatever they are, down below. Please don't come for me. <laughs> anyway, those are my thoughts on the film, Your Excellency. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you again very, very soon. You know how we do it. Remain in God and God bless you. Merry Christmas and a happy new year in advance. All right? Love you guys. See you again very, very soon. Mwah!